Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw an underwater creature. A crab. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil first to get the main shapes. Yep. And, and then we'll use a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's start by using our pencil to get the main shapes. We're gonna draw an oval in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it about this big. And I'm pressing hard or firmly so that it's easier for our art friends to see the dark lines on the camera. But you guys at home or in the classroom can press lighter or lightly so that it's easier to erase when we're all done. All right, now right here on the left side, let's draw a diagonal line coming in to the middle and we can do the same thing on the other side. Next, let's draw the pinchers. We're gonna start here and draw a diagonal line that comes out of the left side, and we can do that same diagonal line on the right side. Then we're gonna draw a longer diagonal line coming into the middle from each side. There you go. Now let's draw the outside shape of the pincher. We're gonna start here on the left side, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up like this, we're gonna curve around and then back into the main body shape. Nice, you did it. Let's do that same thing on the right side. We'll start here and draw a curve that comes around and into the body. Good job. Now we can draw the legs. We're gonna start here and we'll draw just the middle line for the leg. So I'm gonna draw a horizontal line coming out and then a diagonal line coming up to the left. Let's make that same line on the right side. Di a horizontal line first and then a diagonal line up to the right. Let's add two more legs below this one. So I'm gonna draw another line, a horizontal line that comes up and then this one's gonna come down a little and then right at the end we're gonna go down, straight down. Let's make that same line over here on the right side. Horizontal line, diagonal line down, and then a straight line down. Let's add another line right below this one for another leg. We're gonna just pretty much repeat that same line before, but a little smaller. And then we can do the same on the right side Then they have one more leg that's down here. It kind of looks like another pincher. So I'm just gonna draw it coming down. Looks like the other one. These look like spiders, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they kind of do look like underwater bugs. Nice. Now let's put our pencil off to the side and switch to our markers. And we're ready to draw on top of our guidelines. So let's start here and we're gonna draw a zigzag line, so we're gonna add spikes, but we want the spikes to match the same curve of the pencil line. So I'm gonna draw these spikes going all the way over, and I'm gonna stop right about here where maybe the first eye will be. Then let's draw a letter U, a small letter U, and then we're gonna draw a taller upside down you for the first eye. <laughs> you got funny eyes. Yeah, they, <laughs> like Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little curve at the top and then color in that top shape. Okay, let's do the same thing on this side. We're gonna start over here. We're gonna start here, we're gonna draw zigzag lines that match the pencil line. Keep going all the way up until we kind of get to where the next eye would be. And then let's repeat that same step. We'll draw a letter U, then a taller upside down letter U, and then we could draw a little curve at the top and color in the top shape. Cool, now let's add zigzag line in between those two eyes. Then let's come down here and we can draw this diagonal line, it comes down. You could just draw it on top of the pencil line. We'll do the same thing on the right side. 
and then let's connect at the bottom. Let's switch to our eraser and erase this shape of the body that's kind of sticking out from the oval. And we can do that on both sides. And then if you want to, you can also connect those legs back in to the body. Let's switch back to our pencil and now we're ready to draw the pinchers. Let's start here. We'll draw on top of the pencil line. Then let's add two spikes right there and then we'll draw the rest of the line to the elbow. Okay, now instead of tracing along the pencil line, let's draw a line coming over to the other side of the arm and then we'll draw the curve coming back into the body. Now let's draw the next segment on the leg. We're gonna draw a little curve that comes up here. I'm gonna draw a little higher actually. And then we'll connect over to the other side and then draw the curve on top of the pencil and into the, this other segment. Okay, let's switch over here and repeat those same steps. We can draw a short line, then two spikes and finish into the elbow. And then we'll draw a segment that goes across to the other side and then curve into the body. I went faster because we're just repeating those same steps. Yeah. Let's draw this next segment right here. We can draw the diagonal line coming up across to the other side and then curve in. I think there's a few more spikes. I'm going to add two more spikes on this little segment and then also over here on this side. Okay, now let's draw the pincher. We're going to start here and instead of drawing on top of this straight pencil line, I'm going to draw a little more of a wavy line. So I'm going to draw it wavy and then stop up here at the pencil. Now we're going to draw the inside of the pincher. We're going to draw a zigzag line coming inside. We'll stop about there. And then draw a line that goes up to the outside line. Then we can draw another wavy line connecting back into the segment here. Now let's draw the other side of the pincher. We can start here and we're going to draw a big curve that comes out to the pencil line. And then we're going to come back into the claw. <laughs> that looks so cool. Okay, now we're ready to repeat those same steps for the right side. We can start here. I'm going to draw a wavy line coming out to the end of the pencil. And we can draw that zigzag line for the inside of the pincher and then across to the outside of the claw. And then that curve back into the segment. All right, now let's draw the other side of the pincher. We can start here and draw a curve out to the pencil line and then back in. Now we're ready to draw the legs. Let's start here and we're going to draw on the outside of the pencil line. So this is really the middle of the leg. So this just tells us what direction the leg is aimed. I'm going to draw a line above the pencil line. And we could draw a little backward C shape right here to make it look more 3D. And then we're going to draw a line back into the body on the other side of the pencil line. Okay, now let's draw the next segment. We're going to draw an upside down U shape, kind of comes up that far. And then let's, let's add another one that keeps going up higher. And then this last one, we're going to draw it with a point. They have a really sharp toe, I don't know what you'd call it, ends to their <laughs> leg. <laughs> it's just like, looks like a claw. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's repeat that same step over here. We'll draw above the pencil line out to the bend. And we could draw that letter C and then into the body. Okay, let's add those three segments. Upside down use one, two, and then the last one is kind of sharp right at the end and back in. Cool, now let's draw the next leg. We're going to do the same step, but we're going to bend it differently. 
So let's first draw above the pencil line out to this first bend. And then we're going to draw that backwards C shape and then connect it into the body. Now let's draw the next segment bending down and looks like a big letter U. And then we're going to draw another one coming out to the next bend. And then this one, I'm going to draw a straight line down first and then a curve into the leg, back into the leg. Cool, let's do that same thing over here. I'm going to draw above the pencil line, a letter C, and then back into the body. And if we ever go too fast... You can pause the video. Yeah, you could also rewind the video if you need to see any of the steps again. Now let's draw those next segments. I'm going to draw two more until I get to this bend in the pencil line. This time, instead of drawing a straight line, I'm going to draw it curved like this and then curve back into the leg. The end looks like the same shape up here. Now let's do this next leg. I'm going to repeat the same step, so we'll go even faster. Draw this next for the first segment. Draw those sideways letter U's out to the bend and then the claw right at the end. We can repeat that same step over here. Draw a backwards C, or a forward C actually on this side. And then I'm gonna draw the letter U's coming down further. And then right at the end, we'll draw that claw, sharp claw. Let's also add a little extra curve right here. Maybe this is more of the leg that you can see because the shell is coming back. Okay, now let's draw the last leg, or it kind of looks like another pincher. I'm sure there's a different word for this leg. We're going to draw that first U shape. Then we can draw another U shape coming out further. And on this one, I'm going to add a, diag a curved diagonal inside of that shape. Then right here, let's draw another U shape, but this one is a lot bigger. A lot wider. Or wider, yeah, thicker. And then let's draw a straight line on top of the pencil. Then we can draw a curve coming up this way and a curve coming up the other way. Now let's draw all of those same shapes on the right side. We'll draw the first U. Then we'll draw that longer U coming further across. We can add that curved diagonal line inside of that shape. Then let's draw a wider or thicker U shape that comes down further. And then let's draw the line coming straight down. And then we drew that curve on the inside first. And then a bigger curve on the outside. Right here, let's connect. Let's add another curve that connects those two legs together. We're missing one more thing. It's antennas. Yeah. Let's start here. We'll draw a curve that comes up and out to the left and one on the right side coming out to the right. These really are bugs. Yeah, they are. Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, this we're just going to color it red, but let's add a few highlights and shading to make it look even more 3D. But before we color it, let's switch to our eraser and erase all of the guidelines that you can still see. Okay. When we're all done with the coloring, you can pause the video and match our same drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our crabs. They actually look realistic all colored in. Yeah, we added the highlights with our colored pencil, our white colored pencil on top of the marker, and then we used a dark red to add the shading. 
it makes it look a lot more 3D. You also added a shadow to your crab. Yeah, that makes it look like it's popping off the paper, but you could leave all of this off and just color it red to keep the lesson a lot easier. Yeah, we hope you have fun drawing a crab with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I'm sure they turned out awesome. Both of our drawings don't look exactly the same, and that's because the most important thing is- To have fun, and, and to practice. And to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.